Hi, my name is Mark Solibuski. Today we're going to show you how to make self-consolidating high-performance concrete using only sand, cement, white silica fume, and Trinix admixtures. We're going to make something that will approach 15,000 PSI, depending on your sand, cement, mix, etc. But it will be close. It's an excellent choice for those of you buying any kind of bag mix because all you have to purchase now is white silica fume in our ad mixture. For those of you considering using ductile or something like that, this mix will be very similar except we don't charge any licensing fees and you're going to buy the materials locally and it's really easy. Now what we're going to make today is uh, I'm going to show you the ratios. Once you have the ratios, you can make any amount you want. It doesn't matter. But for the cementitious, we're going 50% of the mix of the sand. Sand, 50%. The water, this is where we're going to get our strength. We're going to go way down to a 0.24 water to cement ratio. The GFRC admix from Trinic, we're going to dose at 3.5% of the cementitious weight. Now to get it to flow at 0.24, we're going to need additional Trinic plasticizer. So we're going to dose the plasticizer an additional 1% of the cementitious weight. Once you have these ratios, you uh, you can calculate anything you want. Now here's what we're going to use to make our sample mix with our KitchenAid mixer. Cement, we need 2.4 pounds total cementitious. We're going to go with 90% cement, 10% silica fume. If you add these two together, you get 2.4 pounds. The water, we're going to go at a 0.24 water to cement ratio, so we take 0.24 times 2.4 and 0.577 pounds of water in our mix. The sand, 2.4 pounds. The GFRC admix, we're going to dose it 3.5% of the cement weight. So that's the total cement weight, 2.4, 3.5% of it, 0 0.084 pounds. The plasticizer, an additional 1%, just to make this mix very fluid, 1% of 2.4 pounds, 0 0.024 pounds. You'll see we've got a very accurate pound scale, so we don't have to convert these to ounces. The only thing we're going to add to this is our stage 2 accelerator. We're going to dose our stage 2 accelerator at 15 ounces per 100 pounds of cement. 15 ounces of 100 weight. What this stage 2 accelerator does is it doesn't accelerate the initial set of concrete. That's very important because this is, you know, half cement. So this stuff would take off and run if we were to use ordinary accelerator. Right? If we did use this, we would get oh, maybe 7,000 overnight, 6,000 overnight with a little bit of heat. By using this accelerator, we can push this mix to 9,000 overnight, close to 10,000 if you put enough heat to it. If you were to heat this mix to 140 degrees for 19 hours, you would probably be in the 10,000 PSI range or higher. Without this stage 2 accelerator, you'd probably be in the 7,000 PSI range. As I said, it doesn't affect the initial set, which is very important. Now, white silica fume will show you it's a bright white. We tested a lot of different positives. Everything from fly ash, slag. White silica fume has turned out to be the best. It allows the mix to flow. It's bright white, so it doesn't affect color. This mix is going to come out nice and white. That is available through us. The Stage 2 Accelerator is also available through Trinic. Both of these items are critical to get you in the, above the 10,000 into the 10 to 15,000 PSI range. Our preference is not to uh, ship you a bag mix, but to tell you what to buy locally and then you add a few ingredients. That way you're saving a lot of money. This is a fraction of the cost and there's no licensing fee. Here's the first thing. I like white cement. This is a local brand to us, Trinity White. There's you know, any number of white cements across the country that would work. 
The next thing, this is a well-graded silica sand. This one comes from U.S. Silica. This is a size number one. This is used by stucco guys and plaster guys, so it should be available, if not something similar to this. It's white, it's quartz, it's very hard. The next thing that we've just finished studying is this is white silica fume. It's so white it almost has a, a tinge of a blue tint to it. It's bright white, very powerful. And then this is one of the key ingredients. This is Trenix GFRC Admix. This has five different chemicals combined into one. By using this, you'll actually double the flexural strength of your concrete versus ordinary concrete. If we get 10,000 psi, you're going to get close to or above 2,000 psi flexural without any fiber. The other thing we need, because we're using silica fume, is additional plasticizer. The reason we need this is to make the mix liquid at a 0.24 water cement ratio. We'll show you how this affects everything. Other than water, that's it. Now here's what we're going to use to mix our samples. This is a KitchenAid mixer. These are perfect for mixing this. I bought this one on Craigslist for hundred bucks. It'll hopefully last forever. You need a good accurate scale. This one is uh, goes down to hundreds of a pound. I like to keep everything in pounds rather than go to pounds and ounces. Especially when you're mixing this small an amount, you have to be very careful to mix precisely. Now what we do is we, we use uh, plastic molds to do our samples in. First thing we're adding is the 2.4 pounds of sand. Since the quantities we're mixing here are low, you want to be as accurate as you can. This goes down to the hundredths of an ounce. 2.42. Now we're adding the white cement. This, I need 2.16 pounds. Next item is the silica fume. The silica fume will be 10% of the cementitious. As I said, we've got a really nice bright white. It's actually whiter than the white cement. This will be 0.24 pounds. We found out that 10% is about the uh, break even. Once you go above 10 to 15, you gain a little bit of strength, but not a whole lot. Okay, next, our scale is accurate enough, we're going to do our 3.5% or a GFRC admix, which is 0.84 pounds. Point The only other thing we need is 1% admix. I'm going to weigh that separately. I'm going to mix this up with our recommended amount of water. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like before we add the plasticizer. Then I'm going to show you what happens when we add the plasticizer. What I've done is I've weighed out the, the water. I'm going to add the accelerator, the stage 2 accelerator, right to my water. Okay, we're ready to mix. We're going to add our water 
and accelerator. Start the mixer. Probably about a minute for the chemicals to kick in and lubricate everything. You can see right now it's starting to turn. But it certainly is not flowable. It'll be fairly flowable, but... That's about all the flowability we're going to get well, we dose our admix at 3.5%. The reason for that is this is a 0.24 water cement ratio. You don't want to keep adding admix because that 3.5%, that's plenty. You've got all the, the majority ingredients in there you need. It would almost self-level now. Here's our additional 1% the plasticizer. That's it. One thing you're looking for, we didn't add any more water, it was a powder, so it's not even contained in the water, but you're looking for the bubbles popping out. Now that's true, self-consolidating concrete. You could pour this in anything you wanted. Tile, dump it in, no need for vibration. Wall panels, anything you want. Furniture. What we'll do, we'll fill up our cubes. You don't have to worry about it setting super quick. These we will test, uh, test for strength. As I said, our beam tests have shown that we're getting twice the flexural strength of ordinary concrete out of this. That's without any fiber. You add fiber, this is pretty much an indestructible mix. For a minimal cost, that's the main thing. Tomorrow I'd expect these to break probably about 8,000, depending on how much heat we get on them. Ultimate strength somewhere in the 12 to 15,000 PSI range, depending on the cement we're using. As we've shown, there's virtually almost no water in it. Now, there isn't much left, so I'll pour a couple of these little ones, Vinny. Here's what you're going to do when you're pouring your tile, wall panels, whatever. Dump it in, it self levels and self consolidates. You can pour bathtubs with this, stair treads, signs, 
be another good use for it. And that's about it. Now, once okay. I've got it mixed up, you'll see the air is coming out of it, any air that you would train while mixing. When you dump it, it should flow like this. This particular mix won't require any vibration. That's it. She's level and ready. Here's what your expectation should be when you strip. There should be absolutely no bug holes. If you've got bug holes, it's probably caused by your form material, your form oil. This mix should have zero bug holes when we strip it. And it should be somewhere in the 12 to 15,000 psi range. That's 28 days. Overnight with the accelerator and some heat. You'll see later we're going to cover these and heat them with electric blankets. You should be able to hit 8,000. If you were to, if you had a way to put these in a steam cure room, you could probably hit 12,000 overnight. Without that, and maybe 120 degree heat, you can expect about 8,000 overnight in 19 to 20 hours. And then with our sealer system, especially the SB sealer, contact us for instructions on how to use that. You should expect to be able to deliver a product without a callback. That's our goal. One of the reasons we're showing you this mix is because it becomes extremely acid resistant. You're making not acid proof concrete, but it's very acid resistant due to the additives and the silica fume. Now, what we do is we test our mixes. When we recommend the mix, we do a full slate of tests. Today we're going to be making cubes to test it. We make beams. We do everything we can to assure you that you're getting a quality product easily. This is our test with wine, mustard, hot sauce, vinegar, lemon juice. You can see even the, uh, the magic marker doesn't stick very well. Once you've made these, cure them and seal them, you can deliver a product with confidence that you won't have a callback on. That's our goal here. So if you're making tile, if you're making whatever, shower walls, you can make anything you want with this product and you won't have a callback. Contact us with sealer recommendations. We'll be glad to help you there.